Good evening, everyone. George Troller here from the partially mask-wearing militant state of Michigan, where we had more FBI agents and paid informants than we did actual conspirators in the plot to kidnap our governor and dictator, Gretchen Whitmer, who we also have a secretary of state who believed that Donald Trump was wanting to bring her up on charges of treason and have her assassinated. This she said she heard from a friend who heard from a friend who heard from another. So as you can see in the uh, little thumbnail, um, gas in Michigan is now $5 a gallon or, or $4.99.9. I guess that that tenth makes it uh, easier to swallow. So the, the pain is... Uh, the pocketbook is just beginning to creep in more and more and I wonder how much of it is going to affect the leaders of the state before in, in 16 2016 no one thought Donald Trump was going to win the election and then after he won, you, if you were a Trump supporter, you had to keep kind of quiet about your feelings. It wasn't, it was never a good idea to openly uh, state your liking or preference for Donald Trump. The Trump voters always seemed to remain silent. And I don't really feel that that's the same way with the current dementia in chief. People can be pretty outspoken about them. There's no backlash for not thinking what he's doing is, is right. I think a lot of Americans feel that way. And there's no one in the Democratic Party right now that can give a Republican a serious challenge. And I guess Republican would probably be Donald Trump. <coughs> but I kind of wonder how this is going to play out on the state level. I, I don't have any... I, I'm pretty sure that Republican candidate will win the presidency. I, I think the House and Senate are going to be Republican. But I'm wondering on the state level, uh, I, I don't seem to hear, I, I guess I wonder first, how much of this kind of stuff can you really blame on your governor? Can you blame the high gas prices on your governor? The baby food shortage? I guess what you can, or, or any food, food shortages, possibly the only thing that you can really hold your governor accountable for are lockdowns, in a sense. Some were much more strict than others. But how is that going to play out down the road. Now, I think Michigan's governor election could be this November. But there's not really a... I don't seem to feel like there's this big push to get Whitmer, the current uh, governor and dictator, out of office. I know that Donald Trump has given his support to one of the, uh, a Matt Paterno, who is a running for attorney general. But I'm, I'm just wondering at the state level if all of this is just business as usual. If you just sort of stay out of the fray, you're, you're going to be fine. Do you need a a Flint water crisis again to get you out of office? 
Do you just want, like, for me, do you just want Whitmer out of office, period? There's no real reason for it? But... I don't know. I'm just kind of confusing today. I'm just wondering on the state level if any of this kind of stuff changes and how you can how you can hold them responsible for some of this kind of stuff. I think back I I I really felt Donald Trump won the election when he came to Detroit and spoke to a group of African-American leaders from the Detroit area, and, and he asked them, what, what do you, by voting for me, what, what do you have to lose? You know, what do you have to lose? And I'm wondering if something along those lines had, like, what do you, what do you, what do you gain by keeping her in, you know, Whitmer in office? What do you gain by it? So maybe the new uh, the new mantra is going to, going to be what do you what do you gain by it? So to make make things uh, great again, it's what do you gain by keeping them in office? So that's about it. A very lackluster vlog for this afternoon. I guess I'm getting all fired up for uh, the next episode of Alone. Hopefully I can watch it tonight somewhere online. Unfortunately tomorrow could be a very busy day and I still have to work. So it's get out of work early this morning go mud drywall get my truck out of the repair shop get a bunch of stuff loaded in the back to go to the dump and then get to bed to go to work tomorrow night there's not going to be a lot of time in there to watch a episode of Alone <coughs> especially these uh, 90 minute these 90 minute episodes so hopefully I can watch it tonight I can't find where I watched it last year last year I would I would just sort of wait a couple of hours after the show would have premiered I don't know if it would have been West Coast time but then for $1.99 I could go online and watch it so No, they don't have that. Now you have to have your your TV service thing, and, and I have to end up watching it uh, direct TV on the on-demand direct TV the next day. So I'm hoping I can get it in. Um, by watching it sometime tonight, I don't know. Oh, that treasure troller saying aloha and good day.